Hi guys, Batch here, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be testing out the 0.223 docent. First we'll start with small game, like coyotes, and we'll move on to bigger game. There's a coyote just up here. Looks like we might have hit that. We'll go have a look. See if it's down or not. Now I've bought this gun a while back and I haven't used it much at all. Probably used it once. This will be the biggest hunt I use it on. So we're both going to find out how this gun goes. And there we go. First animal of the day. Coyote. Integrity bonus intact. Because we're using the right gun for it. Very good. Okay, we hit that as it runs off. But my shooting seems to be a bit off today. I don't think I lung shot that one. We'll check it out and see what we've done. Yes, I just haven't used this gun at all, really. This is going to be a surprise to me. Every now and again, the tracks do that and point the wrong way. Oh, I found a Cody. He's down. Or she. Second one of the day. Took a lot of money for these things. Which is always welcome. Got another Cody through the bush here. Just aim it up and take a shot. Uh, I can see a lot of blood there. So it looks like it might be a good shot. Uh, it's down. So there's a third one of those. Seems to be a lot of Cody around here. I'm just around the lake. So. Pretty easy picking so far. Oh, that hit her right in the neck or the spine. That's not a bad coyote. There's another one to stand on the other side of that boardwalk. It's a bit far off. This gun's fairly accurate though. Well, it seems to be. Oh, I think I hit that. Let's run over and have a look. I was thinking about just making a coyote video, but then I thought, well, while well, I'm out here with this gun, I might as well put it through its paces. See what else we can find. That one copped it right in the neck. Always puts them straight down. Not as good as the last coyote, but it'll do. Here we go, this is a bit better. First buck of the day. Let's give this a shot. The beauty of this gun is that it has six bullets. So even though the prey may be bigger and a bit too big for this gun, you can at least, you know, fire six bullets at it. So at least I reckon three of those would have hit this buck. Should be bleeding. And then we'll track it down. Okay, finally ran it down. There's a lot of blood. So it'll be interesting to see how many times I hit that. I'm going for three. I'll eat it at least three times. Yes, yeah, three times. Good guess, really. But there you go. Put down a buck. Okay, now we've got something bigger than a buck here. Check this out. Got us a black bear. Uh, 
All right, both those shots hit it. It is pretty far away. I'm, I'm using a better scope on this than the normal one you'd use. Got the hopper iron on it. Okay, it's run back at me. Let's find the right gun without a scope. There we go. Come on, that's got to, that's got to die now, doesn't it? Oh, there it is, down there, and it's dead. See the blue wash over it. Bear has died. Interesting to see how many times I hit this. Easy six times. Oh yeah, look at this. That poor bear got lead poisoning before it died. I think that's probably what killed it. Okay, another buck's run out. Let's, let's get him. Okay, that has to be seriously injured. First shot. Looked like I put it in so long. Let's see how much blood we got down here on the ground. Ooh, we got a lot of blood. This thing won't get far. It'll be dead. <laughs> Around here somewhere. So pretty close range. This point two two three isn't too bad. And see the buck over here dead. Let's go pick it up. So not bad at all. Yeah, hit it three times. Went down straight away. Well, pretty much straight away. And integrity bonus, folks. Got a herd of female elk over here. They're pretty far away and it's through the fog, so I'm going to take some long shots at it and see how we go. Oh, we've got a black bear over there as well. Standing up. hit that and hit it maybe twice so I've hit the bear it was standing up so that might have been a long shot might be a good one let's hope so Good way to test this gun out on its long range. Oh, they're way off. Let's spot a couple. Hopefully I'm hitting these. Oh, hit that one. Legendary marksman achievement. That means I hit it 400 meters or more. Not bad at all. So this docent can shoot pretty far. Oh, and there's our bear. The one I shot. So I must have wounded him and he's run over to attack me but died on the way here luckily because I didn't see him trying to do that. So I'm lucky he's gone down. Let's check him out. I reckon I hit this at least. Well, I shot it at twice. Two shots look like it hit it. This gun is fairly accurate. Not a lot of kick in it. The scope really sits on what you aim, you know, the crosshairs on. So it's really up to you if you're a good shot or a bad shot. Not a bad looking bear spread out there. Looks like it's doing push ups. Let's have a look at it. See how many times I shot this. I reckon two times. Yes, standing up. And then when he ran off, I hit him again. So not bad at all. Not bad distance on both them shots. 
So I've been tracking some of these female elk I've hit and I've come across this male here. I'll have to shoot this. And for the back of the head shot, it's all I had really. All right, it's gone down. Would have hit the first shot. Would have hit it right in the sort of neck, back of the head area. Looks like not a bad one. Looks pretty decent. It's not a gold one, of course, but it's not bad. And the docent has put it down. We've seen docent shoot over 400 meters with that achievement. So imagine that. I got that achievement on the smallest gun in the game. Not bad at all. Uh, let's check this. I uh, hit it twice. Back of the neck. And as it was running off, hit it in the back. So there we go. Dosen's doing pretty good. And I'm still following some more of these wounded female deer. And I've come across another male, which is pretty far off. I'm going to have to wait till he gets a bit closer before I can get a decent shot on this, I think. Because I don't want to just wound it and have it run. And run and run. I'm not really in the mood for that. I have a video to do. A lot of those females are still around everywhere. <laughs> saturating the whole area at the moment. But I want that big male. Not really going to worry about any of these females. I've already picked up a couple of their bodies that I've shot. I couldn't find the one that I hit at 400 metres. Lucky the achievement <laughs> doesn't wait for you to pick the body up as long as you hit the animal. So I'm pretty lucky there. But there were tracks just going everywhere. So this male's slowly getting closer. Going to take a shot soon. Just wanting to walk out in a bit of a clearer area. Because most likely the first bullet won't put it down and I'll need a follow up or two. And luckily enough, this gun holds six bullets, the most in the game. Obviously because it's the lowest caliber gun, so they give you more bullets. Which actually makes the hunt fairly interesting. This has been a fun hunt so far. And it's going to get better after this. Because I need bigger animals to shoot. Look, there's a buck. Here's our male elk hiding in these reeds. So I can't shoot it at the moment. I'll never find it. I will, but I'll be chasing it forever. Come out in the clear. I'll get a good shot on this. There we go, another big black bear. Wanders in. He's safe. I'm not going to shoot at that. want the elk because it actually looks like a you know, fair size elk. Look at that, it looks pretty big from here. So he's starting to walk out in the clear, so I'm going to take a shot any sec. Just let him walk, see in that grass bit there? Just hopefully he doesn't do anything stupid right now. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I haven't spooked. Feel a couple of bullets off at them. I'll go find this male. I did hit it. It did react it. F front legs went out from under it when the first bullet hit it, so let's go chase it down. Alright, it has gone down. This looks like, yeah, them antlers look pretty good. Pretty, it's laying sideways like that. Oh, that looks like a big antler. Not bad at all. Let's check him out. I only hit it the once. The old back of the neck shot. And not a bad elk.
Now for the ultimate test for the 0.223 docent. Actually, this is the ultimate test for any rifle, any gun, any shotgun, any pistol, and any hunter. We are going after bison. Now, lady, you might say, why don't you shoot a moose? And I was thinking of that. Could shoot a moose, but if I don't hit it right, it'll just run for kilometres. Where well, I know and you know that if I shoot a bison with this gun, it'll just make it angry. It'll be like squirting a water pistol into a tiger's face. I know it'll run back at me and want to kill me. So we're hunting bison with the docent point two two three. As a fox walks through my crosshairs. Isn't he a lucky fox? A lot of bison to pick from here. I'm just going to sneak up. I'm going to pick the one I think will be the easiest one to shoot. Because it will stand after I shoot it. And I'm just going to keep pumping rounds into it. I reckon that one. Yeah, here we go. Well, it's definitely injured. So let's reload, because this thing... Yep, it's going to run back at me. I'll take the scope off. Oh, yeah. I think it's pretty angry, very angry indeed. We'll have to chase that down. It probably will double back to the herd. Here it is. And I've got another one into it. This thing will die from lead poisoning. <laughs> probably before it bleeds out now. Uh, let's reload. Lucky I've got a lot of bullets. And we'll track it down. Well, it seems to be bleeding a fair bit as I just cross the border here. There it is. It's going over the hill. So we're catching up to it. Just want to make sure it goes down. There's some more blood. So if you do hunt bison, you're going to need a lot of bullets. Uh, I've got more in front of me here. Maybe that injured one is running with him. Just got to try and pick it out. Maybe that one that just walked through the trees was it, I'm not sure. There is a lot of them around. So I'm going to ta target another one and shoot that and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Okay, he's, he's coming at me. Ah, maybe it's stopped. Nope, it's coming. Oh my god. You gotta try this. This is so much fun. You really gotta get the docent and come out after some bison. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I have bought some med kits, so I'll heal myself in a tick. I don't want to die during this hunt. And I haven't collected any bodies yet, but I have shot a couple of them full of bullets. So they're eventually got to go down, that's for sure. Still following the blood trails. 
And I've got some more bison in front of me. I'm going to look for the injured ones. And I can't seem to spot them. They all look pretty healthy. The amount of bullets I've put in there. I'm going to take this because it's coming straight at me. Wow, he got knocked off his feet. So there's another one that's got bullets in it. There's three of them. Might be four, but I think it's three. All right, he's angry. All right, not a problem. Got both of them into that one, I think. Couple more for good measure. Now it's following the blood, so this one could already be injured. If not, he is now. Oh God! Smacked me right in the head. This is the reason I hunted the bison because I knew they'd come back at me. I wouldn't have to chase them too far, not like a moose. I'd run for about four kilometres. So we'll chase this one down. I've got to find one of these. Dead, yep, here he is. One down, we've tracked one down dead. About time. There's a lot of blood there. So there should be another two or three bodies out here somewhere, or injured bison. Let's collect this. Oh, a lot of bullets in there, that one. Swiss cheese job. Not bad. Alright, let's find the others. All right, more blood. So we'll follow this trail. This will lead us directly. Yep, here we go. Oh, I'm making noise down here. This one looks injured. Kind of feel sorry for it. They take so much punishment. <laughs> It's unbelievable. This is a small caliber gun, remember. Oh, grab the right gun. So I rolled my mouse there by accident. Oh, wow. This thing can take punishment. That got hit a fair few times then, and it was already injured. I'm pretty sure that's one I was following. Now that has to die now, that was another two bullets straight into its back, or backside. So there should be a ton of blood to follow here, we'll track him down, this thing's got to die. Can't believe how many bullets it took. It is a lot of fun hunting them down with this small calibre gun. You are up for the challenge, this thing can kill me. As you can see I have been injured, I did heal myself and I'm injured again. One more good whack and I probably will die. So I better be careful. Although I do have more med kits. I keep them on me now, just for the bison, really. Alright, here, here we go. Got us another bison. This thing took a ton of punishment. Unbelievable. I might be able to flatten that out. Oh wow, that's got to be another one. That can't be the one I just shot. It's only got three bullets in it. What's going on? All right, here's another one. All right, we're finding them all now. They've all bled out. Oh, yeah, that, that's probably the one that took all the bullets. As you can see, tons of shots into that. Some are very close up. Some are far, further away. Very good. All right, yet another body down here. Right down near the pond here. Try to swim off and escape. No escape for you. Oh, that was the one that was laying down that I hit. So we're starting to find all the bodies now. Thank goodness. I was getting a bit worried there for a minute. Okay, should have time to get one more bison in. 
Let's find one to shoot. Make it angry. Let's see if it kills me. I've given it a good chance. I haven't healed myself. So if I get a hit, I'll probably die. Here we go, this one. We'll try and snap its back with the small caliber gun. We'll spine shoot it. Oh yeah. That looks hit pretty good. Alright, let's reload. Just in case. Yep, here it comes. Right on. Q. Whoa, check out that. Didn't even have to fire a shot. It died running at me. I did go the spine shot. Let's see if it happened. Oh yeah, look at that. That first shot. That's a deadly shot for a bison, even with a small caliber gun. There you go. There's a there's a little tip for you. Get the spine shot in if you can get it. Works really well with the big guns. Alright, this was on the same hunt. I just thought I'd tack this on the end of the 0.223 video, I have found a piebald female deer, and I'm going to use the 270 on this. Oh, that first shot hit it a beauty. All right, let's go see what we've done. That was a pretty far shot. Still using the Hyper Iron scope on this gun also. It's my favorite scope now. Pretty much use it on all the guns. All right, it is down. Let's go check this out. This is another piebald. This is my first piebald deer. I've got a piebald elk. Two, in fact, a female and a male. Now this is my first deer. I was lucky I just looked around at the binoculars along the bank of the lake here. And there it was, grazing. So it's always good before you shoot anything, have a good look around. You never know what's just standing behind the bush or just over from you that you're not noticing. Oh, here we go. There we go, piebald female. Look at the head on there. What's that on its head? Looks like it's growing some horns. That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? I'm glad I got this. It's another rare. Oh, it looks like it's going to grow horns, but it is a female. Yeah, there seem to be more rares in this game than in the Hunter Classic. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. And get out there if you're .223 and shoot some bison. It's a lot of fun. Okay, guys, thanks for dropping by, and I'll catch you on the next one.